what's going on peoples it's your boy db4 welcome back to some more romance of the three kingdoms 13 and you know what we're gonna get right into it i had to leave y'all on the cliffhanger last time because you know this battle was taking taking a long time man but look, let's go let's get it we're, we're taking out my time once and for all dude it asks us if we want to do this battle right now and you know what i say i say yeah we do have reinforcements 40,000 men showing up but we might not need them let's see all right, what do we got? Um, we got my original squad that I set up last time we were here. So, we're going to do like a bait and switch. We're going to go attack their base here and see who comes and bites. If they try to come attack us, we will come back and defend. But for now, yeah, they're going to retreat to behind their castle walls. And we're going to go and try to attack their base. We don't have any bows on us at the moment. Yeah, they're defending their castle like they should. Smart enough. But we want to drag this battle out as long as possible. Wait, wait, wait. They're running out with horses, so we want Yuan Shao to move to the front along with this lady. And we'll come around the side with the horses after we take this base. You're going to move this way. Just move that way into a flanking position. You want Shao, you're going to go to attack this guy immediately. Yes, perfect. Met him in action. Sun Tzu, you're going to turn around and attack this lady. Got him. Pincer. We'll be, we're definitely going to take the base because we do want that morale drop. All right. So we don't get overwhelmed. We'll use Brave Warrior. We'll hold up because we do want the, we'll get the morale drop and then from there we'll be able to, yeah, don't let them into the base. Great, we didn't let them into the base. We'll get the morale drop and then we'll push forward with all of our troops, including me. No, I'm not going to watch the duel. See, look, they're trying to get around our forces, but it's not going to work. I think we lost the duel. Yeah, we did lose the duel. Morale went down. You on shoot. You want Shao lost the duel. Let's take this base. Attack the base. Once we get the base, the morale will drop, and we can just push straight through with Lubu and myself. Yes, Lubu, keep moving. Me, I'm gonna move, and I'm gonna immediately break this way and try to catch this guy off guard. Got him in my clutches. Attack him. Cause he's trying to surround you on Shao. You on Shao, you're gonna have to hold out, show splendor. That's right, push back. Push back. Reinforcements have arrived. Yes. Alright, we want this entire crew. You guys move out. Come through the middle. And I guess we'll have no, we're gonna have you just move over here and go attack this. We'll take care of this first group. All right, don't let no... Anybody that wants to retreat, whatever. Don't let this guy retreat, though. All right, don't chase. Don't chase. Well, you know what, Sunset? If you can get the kill, get it. Yeah, take the kill now. Back off. Back off. Help with this guy. You on Shao, you stay put. We'll let our guys go around the side, the slower units. Now, we're going to work on this gate. But, yeah, this is probably the better gate to go to. But we want to go in force. So, first thing we're going to do is try to break this camp first. And let you on Shao Hill and move all of our units away from damage at the moment. We don't want to just get peppered. And we'll set up an offensive formation here. All right, let's let's pause for a second. We want to move you to the front. You want Shao to the front. Move me on a flank. Mubu on a flank. And we'll keep Sunset up front. All right, Sunset, you move here. Pang De, I challenge you. Mean by 
Court Punk there. Time for me to go on the flank. You want shout, obviously push up. You push up to attack this guy and stop him there. Lubu, you play the long game. And you just move, actually. Don't attack. You move up. Take some damage. And we'll move in from the complete side. Alright. Somebody's come out to play. Yes. Somebody did come out to play. Oh, Lubu, I'm sorry. You're getting peppered. I'm sorry. Just move this way and you'll start attacking. You'll get the picture when you get to where I'm telling you to go. Alright, me, I'll use... I can't use an ability at the moment. Pong, duh. He's holding out. Alright, Lubu, you got a pincer going. Perfect. Hold on, we actually really can't attack this base from there. That doesn't seem right. Yeah, they just immediately took and went and did their own thing. You, please, do me a favor. Move this way. Okay? Okay, we can use these other horses on this front. We can use that. But every all of you guys, I want y'all attacking this base. I don't understand what made y'all go the other way, but... Maybe I pressed to... Maybe I selected all? I'm not sure. Alright, you on... Child. Hmm, you can stay in. You can stay in. You're losing a couple of troops, but it's not the end of the world. You're about to take out Pung Du. Lu Bu's handling this guy. Pong Du's defeated. Bond strengthened. Boon companion. Me and Sun Tzu. Yeah. Alright, you can back off a bit, Yuan Shao. You, you, you're taking a lot of damage, man. Just just back off. We don't need you right now. All right, great. They finally figured out they can attack from that angle. I lost about 3,000 men. I'm doing pretty good. Let's move these guys to start attacking this gate. We want these guys to come out. You have to start attacking that gate. You, you're running into a trap, my friend. Yeah, we got him cut off. All right, that gate should be falling. These guys are going to sit there with their horsemen on top of the, the trebuchets and on top of the walls of the castle. That's not going to help much. Yeah, we could just speed this up because there's no action going or movement going on with the enemy army so far. He is rushing to the gate's aid. Let's slow it down a little bit. And actually, let's back off. We don't want to fight at the gate. He's going to come out. Let him come out. But we don't want to fight at the gate. Let's just take this morale down. We got two more camps to get. Yeah, he's not coming out. He's scared. Oh, did somebody run out of food or something? Am I missing something? Wait, let's pause it. Alright. Everybody over here. Attack this guy, please. You move that way to attack him. You go around. Yes, go around the side, Sunset. You move and help that way. No, you want child, you just move wide and you'll get a flank that way. Lubu will handle this guy. Actually, undefeatable, Lubu. Let's go. Take care of this guy now. Take away all of his morale and chop through him. That's right, you on shout. Push up. Block these, these units here. You do the same thing. There we go. Sunset, get over here to help. Maybe we can attack the gate. Yeah, we all taking the, getting the idea. Attack this base, and then we're going to move in to attack that gate. 
We might not need to. We might end up taking these guys out here. What do you got you on, Shell? Shell Splendor? You can't use a Brave Warrior. Alright, did they take this base capture? Absolutely. Alright. Attack this gate now. Please attack this gate. And come in from that angle and probably move the other guy off of this gate and give them no choice. We have the whole castle surrounded. One decimated. We might get the guy before we get the gate. Let's see. Usually when they're near the, the gate, they get a lot of defense. But he, he came out a little bit, so he messed himself up. He wasn't able to create a choke point. Yeah, and we, we, he, the, the gate isn't absorbing hardly none of his damage, so. He's decimated. We got this. All units decimated. We finally conquered my town. Lou Boo put in the most work, right? right? I was right behind him. As expected, Lou Boo, that's what I hired you for. I got somebody I need you to take out. His name is Hoken. All right, now we can advance. Advance to the city. Me, I lost 20,000 troops. Advance to the city. All right, we got him, boys. We got him. <laughs> Quinn Army has conquered Wu Wei. On month two of the year one nine seven, my Tang Army fell. Yo Tanwa District has successfully fulfilled the assignment. The Quinn Army has successfully fulfilled the assignment. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Seven specialities. Ten officers, including Ma Xiao, have been captured by Hero Ching Force. Oh, Hao Ching. He got the honors of capturing this guy. All right, I'll disperse. Take my long walk home. Wait. Confiscation hole, obviously. Oh, here we go, man. Granary. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Mathematics. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Granary. Okay. Observatory. Let's go. What else you guys need? Observatory. Um, you guys can build combat training grounds. You guys can build this observatory. You guys can go recovering growth, absolutely. You guys can go um farming. Yep. You guys can go what do you get? Troop discount? Alright, go commercial or uh, recovering growth. Yeah. Um farming, absolutely. That was the most orders I've I've done at once in a, in a while. Great. Now, Lee Shin's returning home after being successful at this last campaign. We have successfully unified northern China. Now we can comfortably move at speed three now without worrying about all hell breaking loose. How many more months do we have on this alliance with the last people, the last force in China? Six more months. So in six months, we have to be ready for this war. Um, That should be just enough time for all of our soldiers to be ready. Let's see. Um, Yeah, Yotanwa has governance over that in this, just like I wanted. Great. Yotanwa took over all of that. I don't want to have to deal with that at the moment. I'll hold a council as soon as I get back to... The capital. But we got six months of war planning to do. And we are literally marching our entire army to this war. This is going to last a while. Granary. 
Confiscation Hall. Foundry. Commercial. Excellent, excellent. We finally made it back to the capital. Okay, okay, okay. Into Luau Yang, yeah, absolutely. Um, buy specialities. What can we buy? We'll buy some wine. Um, I guess we'll hold the council. We'll wait till the six months is over and see what these guys want to do. I, I bet you they want to attack. They want to hire people. Let them do it. Um, they want to do horses? Absolutely. You guys can do whatever you want to do in the city. Uh, as far as what I'm going to do, let's... I don't really have many orders besides councils, really. But I don't want to hold the council until they're allowed to attack these guys. So I have to wait a couple of months. Oh, Lu Yan died in month five of the year 197. Lu Zhang succeed. That is interesting. Observatory. Okay, so he dies. In 197. So Li Yan, we didn't get a chance to take Li Yan out. Oh man, he took himself out. Well, we'll start preparing for our military operations against his successor. Co commercial. Alright, what are we dealing with? On these frontline cities. We got about... Alright. Our three main bond strengthened. Oh, Lu Su, best friends, absolutely. That was cool. All right, let's slow this down, sir. We're, we're, we're moving fast. On our three main deployment cities, we have Kanki, Oki, Osen. And we also have Kyokai. That's our front line. Yeah, that's our front line. Our front line is extremely weak. Their front line has about 80,000 plus 40. That's 120, 150, 170,000 troops. 170,000 just on their border cities. And if we look at the force map, if we look at the list, they have about 580,000 troops. That's no tough cookie to crack it's a lot of troops 48 officers to boot no specialities we own the specialities and we got about way more gold and supplies than them so this is, is this war isn't going to be about money and supplies and gold they have a max city on a on a map we don't have any maximum cities maximum troop cities if i can recall not even our capital is max yet it's about ten thousand off closest city to max is this city in the city i'm in but yeah so basically, we're going to have to call everybody to these front lines. Everybody's going to have to. We, we're going to call every army up to this war, first of all. That's first of all. Every southern army, every army on a map is going to deploy to take these guys out no matter what. We're bringing in the west. We're bringing in the south. We're bringing in the east. We're bringing in... This is our front line. This is what we have to work with on the front line. We don't, we barely have 180,000 here to crack this nugget. We should have about a about 80,000 here plus 40, uh, 120. Yeah, just to reinforce our our front line, our cities we're gonna launch from is gonna take a lot of troops from the central plains that we fit, we we frankly don't even really have. We got the soldiers, but we the bulk of our armies is coming from the south. And they need the supplies to get up north. So we need to move all of these troops south to the river. And get them moving through the middle plains as soon as possible. How many more months do we have on this alliance? We want to be real, real, real efficient. His son is a very... He's not capable as a... As a leader, period. So we want to attack now. 
So it's four months before the alliance is up. I'm thinking my most elitist soldiers. It's going to take the longest. It's going to take about four months to get there. It's going to take about four months to get from here. Probably more than four months to get from here to there. Probably not even worth it bringing them. Well, anywho, I'll start mobilizing these armies in this side of the map to move all of them north. And it should take just about four months to get them or more to get them in position. And then I'll start mobilizing this force. First things first, let's get all of our protection orders going. And I want to do this now, regardless of the supplies it's going to cost me. Because as soon as the fourth month is up, we're going to war. We're not going to wait not one month. So let's do it now. This is our southernmost city on this side of the map. Let's start the deployments. And I want to do it before Zhang has a chance to deploy anything. And all of these people I want coming up through. Hmm, they'll probably. I want them taking the western road. So. These guys will come up through the north. I want this guy taking the, the eastern road. So I'll, I'll, I'll send him to go there for now. Or I guess I'll send him up there. And we want people from there. Auto form. Zero days to mobilize. How long does it take y'all to get there? 144 days. So they're going to use maximum supplies to get there. They're going to be completely out of supplies when they get there. But that doesn't matter. We can resupply them when they get there easily. And 144 days is four months. Exactly. Or a little bit over four months. That's perfect. That's perfect. How long will it take them to move? Zero days to mobilize. Um, 106 days. That's even good. Right before the a lot the truce is up. Do we want to wait a month feeding people though? And this is our rare line. Hmm. Thirty days. We might waste thirty days supplies making this early deployment, but that's a, the least of my worries at the moment. Let's see. Let's just see an estimate of how long it'll take this entire side of the map to get going. Eighty-four days. He can get there in three months. Hmm. Maybe I should just deploy them and do it in a stage by stage basis. At least wait another month to deploy these two armies I think I'll do that I'll just wait another month I'll, I'll probably deploy these armies south individually because if I don't if I don't deploy them individually I risk just wasting supplies and I can't afford to waste supplies so I'm not going to do that so we'll just get them moving we know it's going to take him less time. Let's check him. Deploy. You're coming up through the central plains, right? All right. How long would it take you to mobilize, fully mobilize and get there? 88 days. So you're a little bit under three months too. So you two guys have to move around the same time in another month or so. So I'll go with that. I'll go with that. I'll just wait 20 days to deploy. So in April, we'll deploy the rest of these guys. For now, we'll leave him good. Um, who else is coming from south? Okay, we'll deploy protection on this border here. We'll start bringing up these guys. How long would it take them? No, no, no. We protect this. We're bringing up these guys. 
Um, I guess this is the lowest we're gonna go. 91 days, three months. Arrival too. Let's do some more experiments. Um, auto form. 74 days. Two and a half months. Can we go further down? How long does it take these guys? Two months. We can wait on these guys. We can. They can get the 20 day wait too. They can get the 20 day wait too. Maybe he should get moving a little bit. They, they can get the 20 day wait too. Yeah, they can get the 20 day wait too. Let's see what we're doing with. Um, we're gonna let these cities heal up. There'll be a second wave if we need them. We'll just send these cities in. For now, we're we're doing good. So we we we're waiting a month. So it's like it's looking like we're waiting a month no matter what. Just to test though. Let's put some protection on the capital from the west. Oh, no. Protection on the capital coming from the west. Mobilization two days. They're not going to give me an accurate number. I'll try to... Oh, 101 days. Ooh, wee. So these guys... These guys are gonna take some time to get into play. Do they do these is there anything wounded in these cities? Oh wow. They got 52,000 returnees. We need to wait. We'll wait. We'll wait for them. They're about 14,000 wounded. Maybe I'll just send them. 29,000? I mean, we don't need them for anything else. Yeah, maybe we'll get them moving now. To protect the capital. Yeah, we don't need these guys doing anything else, do we? Nah, I don't see that. 101 days. No, we're going to waste supplies on these guys. Let's see about these guys. How long will it take them to go? Um, How long will it take y'all to get moving? 73 days. They can wait two years. So everybody will be there within three months. So that's perfect. So in one month. We'll deploy the entire kingdom. And that'll give these guys some time to get back into position. So one month from now, starting now. Let's go. I'm not worried about orders because we have one order I'm going to issue for the remainder of this. I'm not worried about the hirees and things of that nature. We're going to hire a ton of people. This is for the marbles now, folks. In one month, it's going down. Let's monitor this army. And we can monitor their progress based on their provisions. I think there was 144 days. Basically, it's going to take them max provisions to get there. So, it's going to take them about 130 days to get there. So, it's not time yet. I could actually deploy this army when it... When I'll deploy these armies at the same time as when... Like, when this army gets to this city, I'll resupply them and deploy them. Resupply them, then deploy them with a new army. So let's speed this up just a little bit. We're not going to be doing much but hiring. Facilities now. Going into the month of April. Let's take care of this stuff. Alright, we're coming along this road, so... We do want to get some, some orders done while we're not doing much. We'll take orders, but we just won't. We'll take orders, but we just won't give any at the moment. Oh, you on two wants to talk. Whatever. Give me a little bit of rapport with him. All right. They're ready. Deploy a protection mission. You're going to move too.
mobilize 10 days. So what? That's another thing I was scared of. Officers ended up ending up with missions that they're not near where they 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 not where they should be and it's gonna you know make time increase even more. So you know what? Let's 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 slow down time a bit. Let's get all of these armies moving now, because I don't want the same issue coming up. So we'll deploy you two. See, I knew that was gonna be an issue. So we'll just deploy these armies on the eastern coast. Get them moving so I don't have the problem, the mobilization problem that I'm currently dealing with. Let's deploy some central armies. Yeah, he doesn't have a mobilization problem. He's still going to get in 88 days. I can agree with that. Confirm. Now, all of our armies on this half of the map are deployed besides one. Let's get one more deployment. You'll just go up there to support Oki. No. You'll go support Oki. Confirm that. Auto form. Mobilization two days. Zane, 65,000. Great. He'll bring up the force. He'll bring up the main force. Excellent. We'll confirm that. Once Zane gets mobilized... We can start worrying about deploying the rest of the army. And we, I want to see how long it should take him to arrive. Do they give me an arrival time? Oh, end of the month. Oh, we, we're going to have to build some facilities. Recovery and growth, obviously. We're at war. Honors. Lou Reed's getting honors. I don't know how. He's a scumbag, but anyway. Alright, Zane, do they give me any idea of how long it's going to take you to get there? Let's see. Um, Can I get the army info, please? Army info. Hmm. No, it doesn't take me doesn't tell me how long it's gonna take them to get there. But judging from his distance, it should take him about 80 days or so. So I'm not too worried about that. It should take him about 80 days, judging from his distance. He's about the same distance as this guy. It's take him about 80 days or no a little bit less. But it's cool. Either way you put it. It's a perfect time to stop now. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Things are heating up now. It's your boy DB4. Make sure you tune in next time, and I'm out, man.